Infinity launched the QX80's predecessor, the QX56, when environmentalists were torching hummers and energy experts claimed peak oil would dry out the world's reserves within decades. During the 2004 model year, its first, gas prices crested at more than $2 per gallon, prompting more predictions that big SUVs would soon be extinct. Exactly none of that happened. Since Infiniti renamed the second-generation QX56 as the QX80 for 2014, and then refreshed it for 2015, sales of luxury SUVs and crossovers have been on fire. For 2018, Infiniti has updated the QX80 a second time. After driving it in Charleston, South Carolina, we'd suggest, no surprise, given its age, that it may still need a few more tweaks. As it stands, the QX80 feels as outdated and unwieldy to drive as the Lexus LX570, that vehicle's fresher electronics and nicer interior appointments make it more bearable, however. If you must have a truck-based SUV with a two-speed transfer case, the all-new Lincoln Navigator is better dressed while offering a more modern-feeling cabin and superior EPA fuel economy. Nissan's own Aramada Platinum Reserve, which maxes out at a boat where the QX80's price starts, has most of the Infiniti's grunt and luxury features. This still is a successful SUV, outselling the LX573 to 1 and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Range Rover at roughly 17,000 units per year while falling shy of the Cadillac, which has been moving at an annual clip of almost 40,000. Infinity execs promise that by the 2018 New York Auto Show we'll see an even fancier QX80 along the lines of the Manograph concept, with the price approaching $100,000. Perhaps that version will offer a more modern and better equipped luxury SUV experience befitting its price.